Okay, so I talked a bit about DEXA scans in a previous video. If you hadn't had a chance to watch it and you understand kind of what they are and how they work and generally why I'm not a huge fan of DEXA scans, um, it's the best we've had up to now, so no judgment. They just don't do a good job of telling the full story of what really matters as it relates to preventing fragility fractures. So what do you do if you want to know the strength of your bone? Well, keep in mind there are three things that help prevent fragility fractures, and they are all extremely important. Coarse and obviously, it's the strength and the, uh, the structure of your bone. Two is your physical strength, your muscles, and three is your balance, uh, because all three can both either contribute to or prevent, depending on where you are on those scales, having a fracture. So let's go ahead and focus on skeletal strength right now, and how do you actually determine whether or not your bones are strong if DEXA scan's not really effective at doing that, okay? So what you want to know to understand the quality of your bone is your trabecular bone quality, okay? Remembering cortical bone is on the outside of the bone, trabecular bone is on the inside of the bone, and your trabecular bone is like that kind of spongy looking scaffolding, right? So that's huge and you really want to understand what is the quality of that stuff. And so, the trabecular bone score is something that you can get now. It's not common, right? If you go to your doctor, you're going to find they have DEXA scans, but they're not going to find a trabecular bone scanner that easily. You won't find those. Or it's also referred to as a TBS or trabecular bone score or trabecular bone scan. I don't know if the S is score or scan, but you get the point. And so we look at this number and it'll tell us the quality of our bone. That's key. So where do you go? Well, GE, I believe, has just come out with a software upgrade within like the past year, year and a half that allows their full body lie down DEXA scanner to actually measure the quality of the trabecular bone, which is really important. So if you can find a DEXA scan machine that will tell you that, that's the number you really want to know. There's a new company, which is really interesting, and I've been evaluating them, have some more meetings coming up with them called Echolite. Echolite is manufactured in Italy, and it's cool what they figured out. They took um, uh, ultrasound technology, and they figured out a way to get the ultrasounds to tell you not only your DEXA, your, your quality or the density of your cortical bone, but also the quality of the inside of your bone, the trabecular bone. So now I haven't been a huge fan of ultrasound technology as it comes to scanning bones, right? You can go to like like health trade show kind of stuff. And sometimes you'll have somebody doing one of these scans, right? So they'll scan your wrist or your ankle with one of these and give you a T-score. And if you've watched my previous videos on DEXA scan, you know, when it comes to DEXA scans, I'm kind of like, eh, they're not really telling you what you really want to know, my chances of getting a, fra a fragility fracture. Um, and the, de uh, the, the ultrasound is less effective than a DEXA scan. So they're just kind of a fun thing to have at shows for you to go get tested. Don't rely on that number at all. This company, Echolite, determined that bone has a particular frequency and that ultrasounds allow them to measure that frequency. And they got this complex calculation stuff that goes on that will tell you the quality of your bone. And it's huge to be able to do that. And it's great. There's no radiation, not that DEXA uses much to really concern you, but it means that we have the ability to bring this technology. OsteoStrong may get involved in that. We're still evaluating it, but whether or not we get involved with Echolite or not, try to find these devices. They're coming here to the United States. They're not everywhere yet. Um, try to find a full body DEXA scan that actually measures trabecular bone. You're going to want to know that number. But don't forget, it's huge. Balance and strength actually help contribute to your ability to protect yourself from fragility fractures as well. So I hope this helped you understand the importance of trabecular bone scans and how to do it. And this should serve you if that's something you think you need to know.